We all know that aging is inevitable, but it doesn't have to mean feeling old and tired. In fact, researchers have identified some special vitamins and substances that can actually slow the aging process of your body cells, so they can help keep your skin glowing and your energy levels high, as well as protect you from age-related diseases. So in this video, we will reveal the top seven vitamins you must take after age 50 to look and feel younger. You'll be amazed by how much your health can improve just by adding these vitamins to your daily diet. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, curcumin. Curcumin is not just a yellow pigment that gives turmeric its color. It's also a potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compound that can fight the signs of aging and prevent many chronic diseases. So how does it do that? Well, first of all, curcumin can protect your DNA from damage. You probably know that your DNA is the blueprint of your cells, and you probably also know that your cells divide constantly to replace old and damaged ones, right? Well, every time your cells divide, your DNA gets shorter. And when your DNA gets too short, your cells stop dividing and start to age and die. That's why your skin wrinkles, your hair grays, and your organs lose function. But guess what? Curcumin can help prevent that. It does this by boosting the activity of an enzyme called telomerase. Telomerase is like a repair kit for your DNA. It adds new segments to the ends of your DNA, called telomeres, to keep them from getting too short. Studies have shown that curcumin can increase telomerase activity and lengthen telomeres in human cells. That means curcumin can help preserve your DNA and keep your cells young and healthy. Another way that curcumin can slow down aging is by eliminating senescent cells. Senescent cells are old and dysfunctional cells that stop dividing but don't die. Instead, they stink around and release harmful substances that cause inflammation and damage nearby cells. Senescent cells accumulate in your body as you age and contribute to many age-related diseases, such as arthritis, diabetes, and cancer. But curcumin can help get rid of them by activating a process called autophagy. Autophagy is like a recycling system for your cells. It breaks down and removes unwanted or damaged components, including senescent cells. There are many more benefits that I haven't mentioned yet, such as improving brain function, lowering cholesterol levels, regulating blood pressure, preventing cancer growth, and extending lifespan in animals. As you can see, curcumin is truly a remarkable compound that can help you look younger and feel healthier. But how can you get enough curcumin in your diet? Well, you could eat more turmeric, which is a delicious spice that goes well with many dishes. But turmeric only contains about 3% curcumin by weight, so you would need to eat a lot of it to get the optimal dose. That's why it is recommended taking a curcumin supplement instead, but not just any supplement. You need to look for one that has high bioavailability, which means it gets into your bloodstream easily and stays there long enough to have an effect. One way to achieve that is by combining curcumin with a fiber derived from fenugreek seeds. This has been shown to increase blood levels of curcumin by 45 times compared to unformulated curcumin. Number 2. Vitamin D Vitamin D is not just a vitamin. It is a hormone that your body produces naturally when your skin is exposed to direct sunlight. It has several important roles in your body. The most well-known one is regulating the absorption of calcium and phosphorus, which are essential for building and maintaining healthy bones and teeth. Vitamin D also helps prevent osteoporosis, a condition that causes your bones to become weak and brittle, and osteomalacia, which is a condition that causes your bones to become soft and painful. But that's not all. Vitamin D also supports your immune system, which protects you from infections and diseases. As you age, your body becomes less efficient at producing and using vitamin D. That is why it is important to supplement with vitamin D, especially after age 50. According to the Mayo Clinic, the recommended daily amount of vitamin D is 600 international units for people aged 1 to 70 years and 800 international units for people over 70 years. However, some experts suggest that these amounts are too low for optimal health and aging. For example, the Endocrine Society recommends 1,500 to 2,000 international units per day for adults over 50 years. Number 3. CoQ10 CoQ10 is a vital natural substance that your body produces to help your cells grow and function. But as you get older, your CoQ10 levels go down. This can make you more prone to aging signs and diseases. 
CoQ10 is vital for the function of your neurons and the production of neurotransmitters. It can also prevent the accumulation of toxic proteins that cause Alzheimer's disease. Other than that, it helps your heart muscle pump more blood and oxygen to your body, which can prevent or treat heart failure. CoQ10 can also prevent cholesterol from oxidizing and forming plaque in your arteries, which can cause heart attacks and strokes. Some studies have found that taking CoQ10 supplements can significantly reduce blood pressure, improve exercise capacity, and decrease the risk of death from heart failure. It also has anti-aging benefits for your skin, as it can reduce wrinkles and improve skin smoothness. In fact, a clinical trial showed that daily intake of CoQ10 50 or 150 mg significantly reduced skin wrinkles and improved skin smoothness compared with a placebo. So how much CoQ10 should you take daily? Well, studies have used doses of CoQ10 ranging from 50 to 1,200 mg per day for different purposes but it is generally recommended to take 200 milligrams twice daily with food to reap the health benefits of CoQ10. Number four, vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is a water-soluble vitamin that your body needs but cannot produce, so you have to get it from your diet or supplements. But as we age, our body's ability to absorb vitamin B12 from food decreases, which can lead to a deficiency. A vitamin B12 deficiency can cause symptoms like fatigue, weakness, nerve damage, cognitive impairment, and even depression. But getting enough vitamin B12 is not only important to prevent deficiency, it also has some amazing benefits for your health and well-being as you age. That is because vitamin B12 is essential for the health of your brain and nervous system. It helps maintain the protective coating around your nerve cells, called myelin, which allows them to communicate effectively. Many studies have actually shown that supplementing with vitamin B12 can significantly improve memory performance and slow down cognitive decline in older adults. Vitamin B12 is also involved in the production of serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that regulates your mood and emotions. Studies have shown that supplementing with vitamin B12 can significantly improve mood and energy levels in older adults who are deficient or have low normal levels. Other than that, Vitamin B12 also supports your bone health and prevents osteoporosis by lowering homocysteine levels, which can interfere with bone formation. So how much vitamin B12 do you need to reap these benefits? The recommended dietary allowance for vitamin B12 for most adults is 2.4 micrograms per day. However, some studies suggest that older adults may need supplements with dosage of 500 micrograms to reverse the effects of deficiency and optimize their health but be sure to talk with your doctor before taking any supplements. Number five, nicotinamide. Nicotinamide is a form of vitamin B3, which is essential for many aspects of health, such as converting food into energy, repairing DNA, and protecting cells from damage. However, as we age, our levels of vitamin B3 and its derivatives decline, which impairs these functions and contribute to aging and chronic diseases. And that is where nicotinamide comes in. Nicotinamide is converted in your body into N80+, which is a coenzyme that fuels many biological processes in our cells. N80+, helps us maintain a healthy metabolism, circadian rhythm, immune system, brain function, and more. For example, some studies have shown that nicotinamide supplementation can improve physical performance, muscle strength, and endurance in older adults by enhancing mitochondrial function and energy production. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of our cells that generate ATP, the main source of energy for our body. Other studies have suggested that nicotinamide can protect brain cells from oxidative stress and inflammation that can cause age-related cognitive decline and neurodegenerative diseases. Additionally, nicotinamide also improves cholesterol levels and lowers the risk of cardiovascular disease by increasing good HDL cholesterol and lowering bad LDL cholesterol. So how much nicotinamide should you take? Well, the optimal dosage of nicotinamide is not yet established, but some experts recommend taking 250 milligrams per day. Number six, vitamin C. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient that your body needs for many functions, such as immune system support, wound healing, and collagen production. Collagen is the protein that gives your skin its structure and elasticity. 
As you age, your collagen levels decline, leading to wrinkles, sagging, and loss of firmness. Vitamin C can help boost your collagen production and keep your skin looking plump and smooth. But that's not all. Vitamin C is also a powerful antioxidant that can protect your skin from free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can damage your skin cells and cause signs of aging, such as dark spots, dullness, and inflammation. Vitamin C can neutralize these free radicals and prevent them from harming your skin. According to studies, vitamin C has several anti-aging effects on the skin, such as preventing and reducing wrinkles and fine lines by stimulating collagen synthesis and protecting the skin from UV-induced photoaging. It also firms and tightens the skin by enhancing elastin production, which is the protein that keeps the skin elastic. And finally, it fades and brightens hyperpigmentation and discoloration by inhibiting melanin formation, which is the pigment that gives color to the skin. Sounds amazing, right? But how can you get enough vitamin C for your skin? The recommended daily intake for vitamin C is 75 mg for women and 90 mg for men. However, eating vitamin C may not be enough to deliver its benefits to your skin. That's because vitamin C is water-soluble and easily excreted from the body. That's why many people turn to topical vitamin C products for their skin. Topical vitamin C can penetrate the skin better than oral vitamin C and provide more direct benefits. Number 7. Omega-3 Omega-3 fatty acids are essential nutrients that your body cannot make on its own. You have to get them from food or supplements. They are found in fatty fish, such as salmon, tuna, and sardines, as well as in nuts, seeds, and plant oils. So, what do they do for your body? Well, omega-3 fatty acids have many amazing benefits for your body and brain, especially as you age. One of the most important benefits of omega-3s is that they help lower inflammation in your body. Inflammation is a natural response of your immune system to fight infections and injuries. However, sometimes inflammation can become chronic and cause damage to your cells and tissues. Chronic inflammation is linked to many aging-related diseases, such as heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, and Alzheimer's disease. One study found that people with rheumatoid arthritis who took omega-3 supplements for 12 weeks had a 28% reduction in C-reactive protein levels compared to those who took a placebo. C-reactive protein is an indicator of inflammation in the body. Other than that, omega-3s can also slow down cellular aging by slowing down the shortening of telomeres and extending the lifespan of your cells. The telomeres are like caps that protect your DNA from damage and erosion. Studies have shown that people with higher levels of omega-3s in their blood have longer telomeres than those with lower levels. There is no official recommended daily intake for omega-3s, but some experts suggest that adults should aim for at least 250 to 500 milligrams of EPA and DHA per day, which are the two most important types of omega-3s for human health. So there you have it. These are the top seven anti-aging vitamins you must take after age 50 to improve your health and look and feel younger. Of course, these supplements are not a substitute for a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle. You should also consult with your doctor before taking any supplements or making any changes to your routine. Now we wanna hear from you. Did you try some of these vitamins before? Did you experience some of these benefits? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.